This is Mike Spivey, the Spivey Consulting Group. It is Thursday, October 29th. And I wanted to give a brief message about what the data means so far. Because right now, I understand that applications are significantly up. And I know schools understand that too, so they're going a little bit slower, which always happens when applications are up. They're afforded the ability to wade through the applications they've received at a sort of a slower pace. And they're trying to make data-specific decisions. But one of those decisions, which I hope is the best part of this message, is as follows. Do we increase our class size? And we think at this firm, we've thought for months, but now we think so even more, the answer is going to be yes. More applications, more strong applications, generally means schools are afforded the ability to, to go up in class size versus down in class size. But what does that mean when a school goes up in class size? Here is the best part of that. Not only are you admitting more people above both medians, you're also admitting more splitters, more reverse splitters, and even more people below both your school's medians. To use uh, the expression that a dean of admissions who I just got off the phone with said, all four quartiles of applicants are favored in this kind of cycle. So we talked about, I talked for a second about if a school decides to increase their class size. What about schools that say, no, we're just going to hold steady with our class size numbers. You know, we're comfortable with 225 people like we were last year. And that's just a theoretical example. Please don't go Googling which schools are at 225. Even those schools, November, December, January, February, they are admitting, again, more applications, more strong applicants, more to go around. So they're admitting those people and at a slower pace. But once they hold par, once they stop with that admitting, they also lose less people over the summer than in less competitive years. In admissions terms, we call that summer melting. There's less summer melting because there's more applicants to go around. So in this scenario, when a school doesn't increase its class size, what happens in the summer? April, May, June, and July. There's always a number of applicants that the school just falls in love with. You just adore their softs or you adore their application or you got to know them over the phone or a virtual event. Even the schools that don't increase their class size are afforded the ability to make more of those, I love this applicant, I love their softs, I love their application, and we're going to admit them. So I don't want to sugarcoat this brief message too much. I do think it's going to be a slower cycle. I do think schools are looking at the data very carefully and trying to figure out what they're going to do. Are they going to raise their class size? You know, what's happening with this surge of data now? Because we all know it's coming down. But beyond the slow pace, this is the kind of cycle that in my 20 plus years of admissions, these are the cycles where you get phone calls over the summer. I can't believe it. Not only did I get admitted to my dream school, I got admitted to multiple schools I never thought I would be admitted to, particularly given the slow pace of the cycle. I hope this was helpful. It's early in the cycle to be determined how far the numbers come down as far as applicants. But I think there's going to be a lot of happy admitting at a lot of law schools this summer. This was Mike Spivey of the Spivey Consulting Group.